what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be doing some plastic repair so if you want to find out how to effectively repair plastic pieces whether it be headlight tabs fenders bumpers stick around to the end of this video and you won't be disappointed piece i'm going to be working on today is this fender this is a fender from my canem outlander and i had a meeting with a tree and this is the result of it as you could see these are the pieces that uh, basically disintegrated from uh, from the fender and we're gonna be repairing them today. As you could see they fit pretty uh, nicely so um, the repair shouldn't be that bad. I have some uh, structural uh, tab piece that broke off as well. So I'm gonna be showing you how to effectively reinforce this and make this repair is as close as possible to a uh, prior condition. Now we have a little bit of twist today because we're gonna be using um, plastic welding and also we're gonna use a little bit of super glue. Reason being is because this fender is pre-finished on the outside and there won't be any paint going on it to uh, reinforce this side of the repair, we need to use little bit of um, super glue just to hold everything in place because otherwise if we plastic weld it on this side there will be um, quite a big gash or should I say scar uh, left over after the welding and I want to keep this as close as possible to the original condition now this wouldn't apply for example if you were doing a repair on um, say a uh, headlight tab or a regular bumper on a from the from a car which would get sanded and painted over later on so this is a little bit different than your standard plastic weld repair what you want to do first is spray everything with isopropyl alcohol we clean off any kind of debris or residue that way the uh the band will be Stronger, and I'm going to be using this professional or should I say grade uh, Loctite uh, glue this is a little bit better quality than your standard crazy glue what you want to do is you get grab your piece and just fit it make sure it fits nicely and this happens to fit quite all right and um, this glue grabs pretty quickly so so that's a plus that way we don't have to hold it for a long time and we could just set it and move on to the back where we're going to be reinforcing it once this is set so there we go so we want to do a small amount of glue on the edges now the only reason we're using super glue on this repair is because the um the outside is uh pre-finished if we were to use a um plastic weld it would leave a na nasty scar and that's not what we want therefore this is the next best option i'm gonna hold it there make sure your your edges are nice and even gonna wipe away any extra residue and from experience this glue is pretty strong and um, see the piece already is set I actually as you could see here I'm not sure if the camera shows that there was a gash here and I actually glued this before already so and, it's, and it holds pretty strong so so I know this this glue works great. All right, um, I'm gonna leave it here for about 20 minutes to a half an hour just to ha have this nice and dry. And I'm gonna work from the back here and reinforce this this piece with the plastic. Well, that way we have a nice and secure bond. It's been about half an hour, so it ha the uh, glue had a opportunity to cure now we're gonna move on to the plastic welding part so um, I got this 
wire mesh and I'm going to cut pieces to cover the length of the crack that way when we when we welding it's um, it's going to reinforce this piece very nicely from the back got my mesh strip and I nicely covers this this crack here so got my iron nice and hot we're gonna start welding it from the top and you, you want to be very careful not to uh, burn through the um, through the uh, plastic to the other side you could see the plastic nicely the mesh nicely sinks into the uh, plastic you don't want to move too quickly you want to have the melted part kind of cool down and then move to the next piece because uh, otherwise it will move on you basically uh, melted in, into the plastic which makes it stronger it reinforces it very well um, you want to be careful when you're doing this not to burn through and uh, you want, as you saw me in the, in the time, time lapse you might want to use like a pick like this to just hold it or after you you melt the um, the plastic all around the mesh because sometimes it will just want to pop out. So if you hold it in place for a couple seconds, then the plastic starts to cool down, and uh, and the mesh is being trapped inside the plastic, which is the whole point. So now I'm gonna do the um, the tab, which is this right here. Okay. I can't do it with my one hand there. There it is. I'm gonna first grab it with the uh, with the glue, and then we're gonna do mesh all around to make this real strong. Cause this is the the clamping point. So this this piece itself has to be very strong. Here we go. Let's put a few dabs of this. And then uh, we'll weld it after it sets. Uh, the super glue does not really interfere with the welding process, so, so that's a good thing. Let it um, cure for a half an hour, and I'll come back and we'll do the welding. Got my little piece of of mesh, which uh, we're gonna reinforce this tab now, and. Um, Kind of formed it into shape and uh, we're gonna melt it right in and you're gonna want to be careful and just do it very gently you might want to hold it with a um, screwdriver or a tool like this Be careful around the surroundings because I actually touched this here and it kind of melted. But it's all right. It's not gonna. It's not going anywhere.
plastic welding, I use this kit from Harbor Freight, which I honestly would not recommend. Uh, reason being is it's very cheap. I mean, it works as you saw me weld with it, but it's very cheap and this piece, uh, when it get, gets hot, it, it gets bent easy when you're pressing on, um, on the material. Uh, this rod, see how it bent? I'm not sure why it did, but it did. It's, um, I mean, it's, you could get this for, well, I believe, about $18 at Hubbard Freight, but I would highly recommend getting something um, uh, more quality uh, for a little bit more money. Uh, there's some nice kits on Amazon I saw, which look pretty good and have good reviews. This was just local to me, so that's why I um, I picked it up. And there we have the finished result. It's not the prettiest, but uh, it definitely works. It uh, the tab is nice and uh, and secure. It it barely moves, and that's the whole point of this. Um, this again, this is the inside, so you want to be able to tell. And from the outside, I mean, you you could still tell there was, there was a crack here, but it's not nearly as noticeable if I uh, went and uh, and welded from this side. Um, there would be a big uh, scar along the. Um, um, the crack so it kind of from far away it kind of blends in which was the whole point so that's that's pretty much it how you re would repair a uh, plastic uh, fender bumper uh, like this and uh, reinforce it so it um, won't uh, crack in the future uh, if you just for example glued it and that's how you do it plastic repair like this on a fender like that and this will apply to any type of plastic bumper headlight uh, tabs any any plastic piece that you could uh, basically do a plastic weld on and as you could see it, the fender looks now usable um, obviously you could see if you look real close you could see the um, the marks where it was cracked but um, from this distance is looking pretty good so if you guys enjoy this content if this was helpful give it a like consider subscribing to the channel and uh thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one peace